with Dr. Alexander Parker of the Mayo Clinic. Dr. Parker, why do you refer to the human genome as a GPS? Oh, because previously when we tried to work with DNA to understand how it affects the diseases we get or the treatments that we respond to, we were only able to look at tiny small snapshots, like trying to drive across the country with a map that only shows you the major highways. Now with the human genome sequence, we have the equivalent of a GPS. We know all roads uh, all the way down to the county roads. We have a better big picture of everything we're trying to do. How has the cost of mapping the genome changed over a dozen years? It's come down dramatically, and that's putting it mildly. We've gone from uh, sequencing a human genome costing about $100 million in 2002 to today it's costing less than $1,000. And that's per person? That's per person, yes. For patients, what is the promise of individualized medicine? Getting better answers that are tailored to their needs, because that's what we all want when we go to the doctor. We don't want to know how you're going to treat kidney cancer. We want to know how you're going to treat my kidney cancer. We don't want to know how to prevent diabetes. The question is, how do I prevent diabetes? So through the power of genomics and other technologies, proteomics, transcriptomics, uh, metabolomics, we're going to be able to say to individuals, this isn't right for everybody, but it's right for you. And what is a diagnostic odyssey, and what is the um, positive result of when you uh, implement that? So a diagnostic odyssey is a term we use for patients that have a certain condition, a disease, a disorder, that no one's been able to put their finger on exactly what it is. It looks a little bit like this. It has some features that match up with this disease. But then there's some other features that say, well, that can't be it. So we can't get a diagnosis. And these patients are literally on an odyssey looking for, why do I have what I have? We can't even diagnose it. Through the power of genomics, in certain situations where we're real sure there's a genetic component, it strikes them at an early age, it affects multiple family members, we're able to use genomics to get answers for these patients to find out the cause of their disease. And in the real home run cases, we're finding out ideas for treatments for these diseases. Thank you, Dr. Parker.